So C, when do you recapture maker's depreciation in chapter four for more information? Recapture of allowance deduction for qualified uh, go zone property. If in any area after the year you claim the special depreciation allowance for qualified go zone property, including specified go zone extension property, the property ceases to be used in the go zone, you may have to reca recapture as ordinary income the excess benefit you receive from claiming the special depreciation allowance. So this is somewhat of an unusual situation, although you know it could come up again. This is another area where you have this complication that happens because of the special kind of go zone rules in place. So for additional guidance, see notice 2008-25 on page 484 of Internal Revenue Bulletin 2008-9. It's available on the IRS website, of course. Qualified uh, cellulistic biomass ethanol plant property, qualified cellulistic biofuel plant property, and qualified second generation biofuel plant property. Now, obviously, we know that the, that the government is, is, uh, has this environmental thing that they are, are doing, trying to subsidize and whatnot areas that are in environmental, uh, that, that they see as favorable with regards to environmental regulations. I still think that the laws that they put in place are probably very clunky and actually misallocating our resources instead of incentivizing us to, to find, to innovate our ways out of it out of things. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going to solve these problems by using the old technology and then forcing ourselves to pay for it, uh, the old technology that's not, uh, not a market benefit. We'd be better spending our money on research to find things that will drive us forward because we've innovated our way out. But we have, that's what it is, right? So if and any year after uh, the year you claim the special depreciation allowance for any qualified cellulosic biomass ethanol plant property, qualified cellulosic bio, I know I'm, sell, I'm saying this wrong, I apologize, biofuel plant property or qualified second generation biofuel plant property, the property ceases to be qualified cellulosic biomass ethanol plant property qualified so, and so on and so forth, you may have to recapture as ordinary income. So again, this is kind of interesting situation if you look into this stuff with the plant fuel and things like that and whether or not it's gonna be more beneficial to the environment than, than drilling for like oil and whatnot. It's tough to tell because you have to, glue, you have to grow the plants and then you have to use the plants not for food, but for the fuel and then you have to produce the fuel from the plants which of course takes energy and and whatnot so so again it seems like it seems like a piece of the puzzle that could work in certain areas but it doesn't seem like that's going to thing that just subsidizing that doesn't seem to anyways that's a different topic